the first question students we have is all except are true for the graphs now when we talk about the graphs we have to understand that graphs are block of tissue which we put it on the side where we want the reconstruction so the split thickness graphs are the most commonly used graphs if we see the grafts are of three types either it could be a split thickness skin graft or it could be full thickness skin graft or it could be composite graft in this grafts if you talk about the split thickness is the most commonly used and it is a thin variety of the split thickness which is the most popular and that is what is known as a thiersch olier graft and this is the most commonly used so yes this is absolutely true the second is full thickness grafts have high secondary contraction now when we talk about the concept of contraction of the graft whenever we take out a graft that is known as graft harvesting the graft will have some elastic recoil this is known as contraction so there are two contractions primary contraction and secondary contraction what is a primary contraction this is the contraction this is the contraction after harvest after harvest and before grafting before grafting and when we talk about the secondary contraction this is the contraction after the process of grafting remember the full thickness grafts they have low secondary contraction and therefore they are the best grafts so this point is false split thickness grafts have low primary contraction yes since they are thin they will have a lesser and pre auricular graft is a composite graft remember composite grafts are the graft where along with the skin you also use adnexal structures like cartilage etc so when we talk about the tip of the nose so suppose if you want to do a tip of the nose reconstruction you require a posterior auricular graft i have written i have just copy pasted this question as it was asked but actually it is not a pre auricular graft it is a posterior auricular graft this part of the ear this is the posterior auricular graft which is required to create the tip of the nose because you know columella is having that angle or curvature which cannot be created so this is also partially right so b is the answer that is wrong in this case